Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of inflamed appendix with fecal length occupying whole length of the inflamed appendix. Consensus dictates that the main etiology of appendicitis is obstruction secondary to fecal length formation within the lumen of the appendix in adults. Other uncommon causes may include parasites, undigested plants, plant or fruit residues, trauma, and foreign bodies. An appendiculate is a calcified deposit within the appendix. They're, they are present in large number of children with acute appendicitis. As in this case, you can see a large uh, picolith in the interior of the inflamed appendix and they may be an incidental finding in abdominal radiograph or CT scan. Incident may be increased among patients with a retrocecal appendix as you can see you will see in this case the appendix is retrocecal by applying high frequency probe that is high power linear probe, you can see a tubular structure in the right iliac fossa surrounded by hypoechoic rim. This is a transverse view. As you will see in this case, this is the cecum and now you will sweep the probe around and you will see the inflamed appendix. This is the transverse view. Now you can see a small amount of fluid is surrounded surrounding this tubular structure. Now by sweeping the probe, I can see a longitudinal view of this tubular structure. Bowl walls are thin, both ends of the tubular structures are blunt. By applying some pressure with the probe, you can see this structure is not compressible. It doesn't collapse. A significant mucus and debris are seen in the interior and a large amount of fecalith is occupying almost a whole length of the lumen of the uh, inflamed appendix. This area is extremely tender with the patient experiencing intense pain. Now appendicitis happens when the inside of the appendix is blocked Appendicitis may be caused by various infections such as viruses, bacteria, or parasites in the digestive tract, or, or it may happen when the tube that joins the large intestine and appendix is blocked or, or trapped by stool. Most of the patients with the appendicolith are asymptomatic. However, an appendicolith may be associated with complicated appendicitis with serious outcomes. Now you can see the fecalith in the appendix that is called appendicolith. It is generally accepted that the main etiology of appendicitis is obstruction due to fecalith in adults and children and lymphoid hyperplasia in children also. It is also accepted that perforated and gangrenous appendicitis is associated with an obstructed appendix secondary to the presence of fecalith. The most useful sign of Appendicitis on ultrasonography is acute uh, uh, as an uh, appendicillial diameter of 6 mm or greater on cross section. Depending on the technique used, the diagnostic, uh, diagnostic accuracy of CT scan is almost ranges from 30, uh, 93 to 98%. And in the ultrasonography, if you have a most modern machine and in experienced hands, it is more than 
Infection is one of the most causes of appendicitis. A viral or bacterial infection causes the appendix to swell and fill with pus. The inflammation blocks blood flow to the appendix, which then starts to die. At this point, appendix can develop holes or tears or may even burst if it is not treated. Appendicitis can be acute or chronic. In acute cases of appendicitis, the symptoms tend to severe and develop suddenly. In chronic cases, the symptoms may be milder and may come and go over several weeks, months or even years. You can see a lymph node is also seen in the adjacent area of the inflamed appendix. Appendicitis symptoms may last between 36 to 72 hours before the appendix ruptures. Appendicitis symptoms develop quickly for the onset of this condition. Early symptoms include pain near the belly button, loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting, and a low fever. There is no way of knowing when if appendix will occur, so you cannot prevent it. However, you can avoid a rupture of appendicitis by timely treatment right away. The key is to be aware of the symptoms of appendicitis. If you develop them, seek medical attention immediately. The most telltale symptoms of appendicitis is sudden sharp pain that starts on the right side of the abdomen. It may also start near the belly button and then move lower to the right side. The pain may feel like a cramp at first and it may get worsened when you cough, sneeze or move. So. There are some symptoms. These are the symptoms. And the pain in the right side of the lower abdominal cavity, nausea and vomiting, swollen belly, fever, and the patient cannot pass the gas, colitis. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.